Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to share with you a message given by the Blessed Mother to Luz de Maria de Bonilla that the climate will change severely, from a severe winter to a drought summer harming humanity. As a result, I would like to ask everyone to take the time to share this video with others, as these messages are a very urgent call from the Most Holy Trinity to mankind and we hope that these messages will be shared and extended to the ends of the globe, to the glory of the Most Holy Trinity. Now our Blessed Mother says, My motherly blessing is extended to you, beloved offspring of my Immaculate Heart. I love my children. I walk with them, and I help keep them joined to my hands so that they may not get lost. Confusion is currently spreading like weeds growing quickly and covertly in a field. My children are being kept apart from the mystical body of my divine son by ideologies full of vast lies. Don't follow those who wish to deceive you. The one is the divine word. Beloved children, the sun is in a state of convulsion and agitation as it radiates its energy toward the earth. As a result, children, the climate will change severely, harming both the earth and you. Natural occurrences are intensified, and the earth continues to tremble violently in response to my children's overwhelming lack of belief in the revelations from heaven. The extent to which communities will suffer at the hands of humans in every town and every country is highlighted in the face of such widespread skepticism in my children. Children of my heart, be attentive both physically and spiritually. Where my children persist in disobeying the law of God and the sacraments, evil prevails. You must dedicate yourselves to me to maintain a protective barrier if you continue to be obedient and moral beings in all respects. You have forgotten, beloved children, that communism will take over the world and colonize the entire planet. My children are being guided towards a cliff by people who do not care about their salvation, yet they are oblivious to this. Small organizations are given authority under communism. These groups create havoc and discover that they are prepared to battle for food and other requirements. There are demons among us. This is extremely risky. A lack of knowledge of the Bible and spiritual matters. My beloved, the church of my son will wear a gloomy attire, and my children will become more perplexed as a result of their spiritual ignorance. Some of my children will be afraid when they see a huge sign in heaven, and the believers will know that the warning is about to arrive because there is a conflict going on. Our Blessed Mother forewarns us about the significance of keeping a strong sense of faith and engaging in both the study and application of the teachings of Christ in our daily lives. Right now, the options are yes, yes, or no, no. It is impossible to live half-heartedly, to follow Christ, and for the human ego to rule our lives. Our Blessed Mother informed us that although she cannot mention all the nations that are in danger in one message, she does so gradually and that we should all pray for one another. She informed that, in addition to the sun's impact, which reduces significant seismic activity on Earth, there are foreign celestial planets that prowl the Earth and cause it to be affected by their magnetism, posing a very real and dangerous threat to mankind. The suffering inflicted on her divine son by styles, particularly the way ladies dress with their nearly bare bodies, was something our Blessed Mother expressed to me regarding the spiritual degradation of this generation. The same holds for men who dress in attire that is primarily suitable for women. Brothers, let's not forget that two peoples vanished off the face of the planet as a result of the decadence of this generation's disregard for God. The way of life needs to be rethought, repaired, and taken back by this generation. 
Now, let's pray. Bless us all, O Lord, we pray, for loved ones here and near and far away, and everyone for whom we pray. Keep us safe each night and day, the homeless who have no place to stay, those who are suffering in any way, the dying, those mourning or grieving, and all who need God's mercy. Keep us safe, Heavenly Father, when we are at home or traveling on our way, or when we are vulnerable or in danger in any way. Most merciful Father, hear us as we pray for the souls in purgatory or who may be sent there someday. O Lord, Father Almighty, I pray for help to strengthen my faith in you. I believe, but I don't always believe in your power and might. I don't always believe that in you all things are possible. I don't always place my trust in you, instead trying to fix everything on my own. I don't always turn to you first, instead turning to the world for answers and help. I have doubts about your role in the world today. I struggle to relate the scriptures to my own life. Lord, I believe, but help with my unbelief. Help my head and my heart and my soul to believe in you and trust in you fully, without a doubt, knowing that in you all things are possible. Lord, strengthen my faith. Amen. I pray awareness floods our being, not just as we pray today, but as a new way forward. I pray we find a new transformational literacy and coherence for a new future. I sing a prayer for humanity that we may see ourselves clearly with curiosity, compassion, and courage, for we must evolve individually if we are to evolve collectively. I pray for those less fortunate, for there are many whose home is not safe to place and who are vulnerable at this time. To those of you I say, may you find strength, courage, and inner wisdom. May you know that you are seen. I pray we learn what it means to love ourselves, because only then will we learn to love our neighbor and live in harmony. I pray that although this moment many are living in a profound period of disruption, accompanied by pain and grief, they are not blind to the gift. The gift is a glimpse of what is possible and what is important to us, the possibility of awakening. I pray that the potential to create a new story to reimagine, reshape, and reseed takes flight. I pray that despite the grief, fear, and uncertainty about the future, that we find the integrity to face the challenges now through honest inquiry, meditation, and community. I sing a prayer for my humankind to cherish these times, to pray out loud and inwards, to sing a song of grace to Mother Earth, to find more empathy and loving kindness, to dream new dreams for new times, to find joy in the simplest things. I pray that through kindness, compassion, and cooperation, we come to a place within ourselves of peace, silence, and deep understanding. And while the earth breathes anew, may we also take a fresh breath and a new step forward to building a new consciousness, starting with ourselves. I pray that a smile is born on the lips of all who recognize the great opportunity this time affords us.